Season 2 Challenger. Limited Rocket Trail. That looks exactly like the uh, Battle Stars. Um, okay to all. No, okay to one. Oh, what is this? Haha! -ha. Rocket, uh, rocket, tra rocket Trail Champion. Cool. Prospect, the silver one. That's pretty neat now that you get all of your, like, um, when you when you are in champion, you get all prospect, challenger, and champion boost trails. That's pretty neat. I think uh, in season two when they gave out the crowns, you only got the crown for your tier. So I mean, if, if I mean if if you, if you would like to to wear a bronze crown, you couldn't, even if you were above bronze. That's kind of cool now. So you get all the boost trails the higher you get. Pretty neat. What's this? Season two star. What is this? See, ah, star. Yeah, for the blue tier, right? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Cool. Oi, mates! What's going on? Very welcome to title update seven, or as we know it, patch one point nineteen. Um, I'm doing this a little different than I did it in the past where I put all the text in. You know what I do now? Boom! There we go. Steam browser. And uh, I just go through all of the patch notes real quick. I cannot guarantee if it's real quick, but I just do it. So we have new community flags, which we will see here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's new. Customize car and manage inventory. Oh, what do we do? Customize car. Major frame drops, um, I hope it's my PC and not the update. Um, we go to the antennas and we can find community flags, which is the four player network here. There we go, four player. And we have Shack News. What is Shack News? I've never heard of them, but welcome to Rocket League. There we go, Shack News is here. There's so much stuff, man, there's so much stuff. Dying Light. Aha, uh -huh. Dying Light, that's in games. Um, video games, Dying Light, come on, D. I have to unlock it probably. <laughs> well, I didn't play um, since the update came out. So I have to unlock it, that's pretty neat. Arenas. Oh look, two new arenas, Neo Tokyo aka former um, underpass and pillars, which I will head into right now just to see it. Oh, there was underpass, maybe yeah, played that. Ah, let's go into pillars, come on. Do I have mutator settings on? Ah, frick it. I don't care. There we go. Look at these pillars. I think it has been said uh, more than enough that these. Oh god damn it! I have freaking gravity at low. <laughs> um, I think it has been said enough that these walls here you cannot go through them. That's a nice goal sound. I have no idea how this went in. What the hell, bots? I play on all star. Calm. Excuse me, Poncho. Guys, come on. Um, this makes for very interesting Rocket League. Um, I would not know how to play on this map. Um, oh, you can see through, although not on, like through everything. That's so weird, man. These big pillars, as the map, as the map says, are in here. I wonder how the gameplay actually like changes in this map. But that's for later. We change the map because this is why we're here. Come on. Huh? Come on. We all know what we want to see. Mutator say get the low gravity out of here. Restore defaults, there we go. Neo freaking Tokyo. Oh, look at this! And you see the the new effect on the sides of the wall. Like not the sides, the wall. God damn it! Cannot speak. Seriously, they removed the boost kinesis on the upper floor here. There's only the standard boost kinesis in each side, in each corner. What do you want, Shepard? Save Ru! And I accidentally score. Man, this map! Oh, 
Look at that! This map looks gorgeous. They changed the corners here, so you have an easier time to go up here. Um, the art style of this again, just like with Wasteland. Um, Wasteland, I said when it came out it looks gorgeous and I still think like the theme it still looks amazing but like I don't have anything against playing on Wasteland as is but I really dislike like how often in comparison to to the other maps Wasteland is chosen and yeah and the theme itself you know the Wasteland theme I really got sick of it um, even though it looks astonishing still but the more often you see it I just got annoyed not at the map itself I didn't get annoyed at the layout but just like the theme of of the desert kind of annoyed me and here you saw there we go these things I don't know I haven't played the other I haven't checked the other maps um, if you see that on the other maps as well or only in Neo Tokyo so we will have some gameplay later I guess uh, in my upcoming videos in uh, five months um, we continue they added new battle cars, obviously they are not available now. You can purchase the collector's edition. I think on Steam I think on Steam it's only digitally. Um otherwise these cars are available on July 18th and sold separately. So it's $1.99 each. So you pay eight bucks for all of them if you want them. Um they include also new um Whatchamacallit, what is, what is this even? Are these uh, skins? Probably. They're probably skins. Um, rocket Trails, Flamethrower and Standard Green, and shouldn't they be unlocked on like by default? No, you have to unlock them by yourself. Okay, by playing. Pretty neat. Um, I always wondered, there, there's only Thermal Green and there's never been Standard Green, as you can see. And now we have a standard green. <laughs> oh, look at these things. Ah, yeah, there we go. Hey, it doesn't sound too annoying at first. That's neat. And I think this is a really cool touch that um, you get all of these things when you are in the higher tier. Um, obviously, a everyone that's in a lower tier is uh, like... M you have a reason to be mad because these look actually pretty amazing. Um, but that's pretty cool. I want to talk about this. Season 2 Grand Champion. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my videos, I have not deserved this at all. This is due to a... F this was from a screw up back in Season 1 and Season 2 because... Um, like your rating was basically transferred from season one and I started out in twos in Grand Champion. I, I played my 10 placement matches and I didn't even win all of them and I started in Grand Champion so I didn't deserve it since then I I never had any any successful moments in my rankings I just went down and down uh, in threes to superstar and then uh, twos in, to champion so this is kinda unfair I think even for myself this is I haven't deserved this because I started in this in this group and I shouldn't have um, and I got it. Nonetheless, I, I won't use it anyway, but yeah. So, and now we come to some trophies and achievements they added. Which I found were hilarious because of the time they are being released. We have Mad Scientists. Play a complete match in three different Rocket Labs arenas. Since when has Rocket Labs been released? A couple months. And now there's a trophy. I don't understand the reason behind it. Icing the cake in snow day, score a goal from your own side of the ice. Yet again, how long has snow day been a thing? Obviously, they wanted snow day to be a seasonal thing, and then after demand, they made it a regular thing. But why now? Why now? I personally, I hate snow day. I love the normal Rocket League. I really like hoops, and I absolutely hate snow day I cannot stand it I don't like it obviously getting these achievements sh should be very easy to just do it in uh, exhibition matches but I, I honestly don't don't understand the reasoning behind 
getting these trophies out now, like so late. If, if they are not like with the implementation of, of these things, I can get behind for some reason, but now this is so late, I, I really don't get it. Left wing, right wing, win, win a snow day match with both the blue and orange teams yet again. Um, fast break, score at least two dunks in the first minute of a hoops game. Uh, that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty challenging one. But yet again, when, when did hoops come out? A month ago? Two months ago? Did it? Two months ago? Not sure, maybe two months. It's very late. Buzzer beater with uh, uh, 30 seconds left, win a game of hoops in which you were tied or trailing. Yet again, that's, that's, look, these trophies are great because these trophies are not as easy to, to accomplish if you actually try them in, in a real online match. Um, budding artist, collect a painted item, should be fairly easy. One better, increase the level of a certified item. That's pretty, pretty cool because now you have these th certified items that get better the more time you spend with them and the more you achieve with them. And certif certifiable? Earn veteran status for your certified item. That's probably one that takes a longer time. So that's I think that's uh, by far the hardest. Not not necessarily the hardest, but one of the hardest, uh, one of the harder trophies out there. Okay, we come to changes and updates. The new showroom feature has been added to the main menu. All purchase purchasable cars and downloadable content have been moved to the new showroom accessible from the main menu. The showroom allows you to preview premium content in 3D before buying, including full camera rotation and decal previews. This I have to say about this. I appreciate that now you are able to see all of the content of DLC you may want to purchase. Because before, you had just a vague knowledge of what cars you would get, but you didn't know anything about decals and all. So this is pretty cool. But now, critically, I put this out there, I much rather had them work on loadouts where you could like create, like have different slots so you can make preset cars which you can choose from. Or for example, if you can decide you want this, uh, because these cosmetics for the orange team and these cosmetics for the blue team or even being able to go to the garage in the post-match menu, right? I mean, I understand it's, it's not right to change your car mid-match, but I really don't see the reasoning, it's been almost a year now, that you have to get out of the lobby to change your car, where I much rather would like to see this rather than them spending time on a DLC showroom. Um, so I put that out there, but nonetheless, now it's really great to see all these things. Um, so, you, so you know what they what they uh, like include if you want to purchase them. So this is the Batmobile. Uh, I don't have it. I don't want it. The same goes for the DeLorean. Can I? Well, when I click on it, I can purchase it. I was thinking that I may be able to change colors, but it doesn't look like it. The NBA flag pack as well. Um, well, this one I have purchased. Um, this leaves me questioning now um, because obviously I've purchased this. Can I see the decals of things I have not purchased? Because obviously the Batmobile and the DeLorean don't have decals. Um, will I be able to see all the decals for the Marauder, Aftershock, Masamune and Esper? I have no idea. But nonetheless, um, the idea of the showroom is pretty cool. Oh, there we go, show pack info, aha. Uh -huh. But yet again it says six unique decals. I'm not sure if if when uh, Masamune, Aftershock and all will be introduced on the left, if it also just says six unique decals or if you are able, even if you didn't purchase it, if you are able to get to like scroll through all of these decals, right? Which I'm not really aware of. Um, four new battle cars have been added to the showroom. They haven't really, have they? So they have been included, but you can I cannot see them. I mean, obviously, they you cannot purchase them now, but um, they're not listed here yet. At least not for me. Arena changes. The new Tokyo map has been added. Um, we know about this. It is based on the Underpass Lab map layout, and it is immediately available in all playlists, including competitive. We knew about that also a uh, longer time ago. Can't wait for all the threats pop popping up. Uh, please remove uh, Neo Tokyo from rank, thanks. 
A new experimental map Pillars, as I showed you, has been added to Rocket Labs and Underpass, which is now near Tokyo, and Double Goal have been removed from the Rocket Labs. Oh, even Double Goal is gone. Wow. Yet again, I have no idea what like the general stances on these maps. Personally, I really would want for Retrotopia to just vanish and never come back. I will be really annoyed if it comes into the normal playlists. End of game spotlight. After the conclusion of each match, the winning team will now be spotlighted in the center of the field, allowing players to show off. They can jump, dodge and spin to do tricks and can show off their battle cars and boost trails. Each player can earn up to two medals for the match performance. For example, you are a prodigy if you score three to five goals. Pretty neat. Um, I cannot give you the full experience, but I mean, I can just give you. Oops, that was dumb. Just give you a sneak sneak peek. Although I guess most of the people I show this to, they they know about that anyway. Uh, I can move my tires, yeah, and I can jump. Oh, I have boost, oh, I'm gone. Goodbye. That's pretty cool. For how long does this like work? Dying light, common antenna. Nice. Now you can rub in your win once more. Um, quick chat update. Oh yes, yes. Each quick chat message can now be customized by selecting from a larger list of preset messages. The default quick chat for centering has been changed to need boost. Centering is still available as part of a full list for players that preferred it. Post game quick chats have been added. Nice. They replace the informational bindings once the match ends and can also be customized. Don't forget to GG after matches. Thank you very much, Sionix. Thank you very much. Where do we find those? We go into options and then we see chat. Oh, look at this. See, team. Need boost. Aha. Uh -huh. See, like, I got it and take the shot is important for us because we do the kickoff strategy. Need boost is most important, but I would rather have it to be no boost. What is the others we I can take? Look at this. Holy shite. Um. Sick, that's the cookie one. Um, okay. Okay. No. I just want a normal no. And I would rather have a yes. Um, nice one. Nice block. My fault. My bad, yeah. I guess that's what we need for team compliments. Nice shot, great pass, thanks, and what a save. Is there... Holy cow, yeah, this is the one I needed. Definitely. Yeah, I don't want to show you all of these, but here, post-game. GG, well played, that was fun. Rematch, one more game, what a game, nice moves, everybody dance. Perfect. Uh, I was actually a little bit worried, even though it wouldn't make much sense, but I was a little bit worried that it would actually give the option to say bad game or even lucky or some shit, but it would be dumb to do that, but for some reason I was a little bit scared, but they didn't, so these are all mostly positive. I not sure if you can use them sarcastically in any way. There's always a way, I guess, but it's pretty amazing. Now you can even say GG to all those console players as well. New rare and very rare item drops will now be found after online matches. These item quality features all new Neo Tokyo themed drops. Oh, that's cool. Rare decals and very rare boost trails for you to discover and equip. The attributes, yeah, the certified items. Uh, rare bonus properties that sometimes come with an online item drop, so very rare, that's pretty nice. Um, the painted attribute recolors an existing item. So here's the thing. So you can basically decide, for example, if like the, the, the cone, the orange cone you see, if you basically get like a purple cone, is it listed twice in your inventory or can you just click it on it once and then decide your color? That's uh, pretty amazing. Wheels and toppers can now be discovered with this attribute. That's nice. Certified makes that item track a specific statistic while equipped in online matches. As you earn more stats with a particular item, it will gain an increasingly prestigious title. Now, this is the one uh, Hoji and I talked about. For example, the wizard hat. I don't know what it tracks, but just imagine it would track long shots. And uh, the more long shots you score, uh, it gets a new title. Like, I don't know, rookie and. I don't know how they are called, but this is basically it. Um, and I 
guess maybe in the future there will be a trading system and they and they increase in value I'm not sure um, nice though nice though now you, um, now you can do that and I think for example some stats are easier than others so uh, I don't know I guess for example like a goal is maybe easier like a regular goal is maybe easier than an epic save so it may take uh, an item to, to you need to score maybe 10 goals to get your first rank but only five epic saves to get your first rank for another item so there's differences uh, the trade-in system you can now trade in duplicate uncommon and rare item drops trading in five items of one quality will return one item of the next highest quality for example trading in five uncommon items will yield one rare item to access the trade in system navigate to the manage inventory option that's been added to the garage submin we saw that and we will do that you know what we'll do that right now but now I'll read this. Players can now assign car movement and orientation to mouse access to better accommodate players with disabilities. I have no idea what this means and I'm happy it's here. Yeah. And we have this new song. The main music has been updated to Hollywood Principle. Seeing what's next. The Kevin Frey remix from the Neo Tokyo trailer. So now we go into the mansion inventory and look at this. Look at this bullcrap. I have one balloon dog, are you kidding me? Seriously? Look at this cockroach. It's I'm infested here. My game is infested. Look at that shit. Huh? It's insane, right? So what do we do now? I do the following. Uncommon antenna, time played. Exactly. Select to trade in. I want to trade this in, this in, this in, this in. What do I get? Oh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. What is this? A decal? I got a decal for Octane. A never before seen decal. Look at this. Garage. Damn it, training. Garage. Why do we have Octane? And we have a new decal. I need new colors. I have the same colors because I like it. Look at that. Ah, oh, new decal. Oh, I want to do the next one. This is. This is just like Counter-Strike case openings or whatever. So we get these. I just like... Oops, that's, that's way too many, yeah. Um, I will always like just save one from each. But I have so many of these, I don't need these. Oh, Venom Flex! Just, I have to, I have to look it up right now. Venom, my good old friend Venom. Flex. What is that? Uh, hello? Flux. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! Look how ripped Venom is! Damn! <laughs> That's pretty cool! Although, I guess right now I will have a great time, but later I won't. So we do the next one, I guess. I keep the dog. Oh, what will this be? Are you kidding me? <laughs> now I have a decal! I have a double decal! This good biker cap. I do two more of these. Uh, again, a double. That's kind of not cool. Or the bowler hat. I do this and then one more. Wildcat ears. Aha, I want to see these. Wildcat ears. Help me out. They look kind of like Garfield ears. Um, not really my type. And I do one more. And later, when I'm alone, I'll do a couple more. Oh, the Brody helmets. What will they get me? For real? The third one. Third double decal. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Online. Season 2 has officially ended. We know, we know. All players will be granted the following rewards, which we already seen in the uh, first seconds of this video. Players will also receive the rewards for all tiers below the highest they reach, and this is, like I mentioned, this is the best. This is really cool. All competitive skill ratings have been reset to give everyone a fresh start as the second year of Rocket League begins. Steam accounts using the family sharing feature that do not own Rocket League can no longer queue for competitive playlists. Yeah, um, the skill wipe was needed, as you saw with my Grand Champion title. It was all messed up because of preseason and season one. I didn't earn it. Many other people didn't earn it. Um, 
the next few days will be horrendous for every player because there will be champions against prospects like, like people who were in champion who genuine genuinely were champions they play against prospects and uh, challenges against grand champions and whatever this will be a total mess but after some time when matchmaking uh, gets its grip back then uh, I hope we will not see much boosting and smurfing and also you now are only able to play with a teammate in ranked who is not more than three ranks like no not more than than three rank difference six rank difference I'm not sure I'm not really sure about that um, big changes big changes they added the disable stat notifications option this prevents the HUD pop-ups for things like first touch, clear shots and saves from appearing on screen. I will try, I, I will uh, disable it for now, just to see if I miss them and if I don't miss them then I just leave it off. Um, edit height competitive divisions options, skill group, prospect 1, challenger 3, etc. will remain visible but you will not see your current division or division up down notifications. If you want to disable it then feel free, that's now possible for you the default selection of the reconnect popper for competitive matches is now yes I've never really like came to the screen custom markers added to replays will now be saved when closing the replay I didn't know they were not saved um, we have general bug fixes venom spoiler can now move again haven't used venom in a long time besides in this video right now the rim and hoops will no longer cause the match to end if the ball hits it after time has expired thank you Yet again, unfortunately, um, two months later, um, yes, you could say better n better late than never, and it's not like I'm shitting all over Psyonix here, but there's some things that, that are not really smooth. Um, fixed visibility issues caused by the Rim Arena and Hoops, I'm no, I don't know what they refer to, especially. Fixed Thermal Rocket Trails sound effects. Haven't used it. Don't know what it sounds like. And fix an issue that caused the post-training audio to play at abnormally high volumes, which I also never really found out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That is title update seven and the patch notes for version 1.19. Season three has started. We have lots of things to discover. And yet again, I thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.